tap the subscribe button to keep yourself updated with the latest videos which I upload on YouTube and don't forget to press the notification bell icon and never miss any updates. What's up guys here it is Kana Dubai back again with another video and this is the second video of the series of the Redmi 4A's customizations and problems related solutions. Okay so in this video I was gonna tell you what to do with your Redmi 4A if it actually gets into water or you by mistakenly uh, drop from your hand into the water. Uh, with me the case was that I was working uh, with my phone along with uh, standing above an aquarium so my phone actually got dropped into the aquarium. Now let me tell you what you will need before starting up and uh, one thing which you should keep in mind is that uh, you should be pretty much fast with all this process because even a second or even a minute delay can actually destroy the ICs, can just uh, stop the functioning of your phone, can just destroy or uh, I would say that it could just actually just dysfunction some of the sensors of your phone, the charging port and many other ports like earphone port and the IA blaster is also at a risk when it gets dropped into water. So, first of all you should make sure that you have a kit which have plenty of options or uh, screwing options. Uh, actually I uh, needed only two of those uh, screwdrivers or I would say two types of screwdrivers. As you can see over here, I'll just focus it up. Wait a second. Actually I'm recording it with phone that's why it's taking a little bit of time just wait for a second I will show you a clear picture of how these screws look like mm -hmm. why is it not able to focus Screw. It's a, it's a basically a type of screw driver which is used for actually opening up the nuts. Actually, all of the screwdrivers are meant for opening up the nuts, but this one is specifically made for opening small nuts. So this one was used by me for opening the nuts which were there, screws actually, which were there in the phone and uh, the other one is actually used by me to actually open up the casing the back casing and the other casings present inside the phone this one is a very small uh, type of screwdriver um, I'm sorry that you are not able to see it, I will try to focus it up, up afterwards because if I will try it right now the length of the video would increase okay so these are the base these are the basic two types which I used to actually open up the whole phone now I have already opened up the whole phone I was just gonna tell you the procedure how to open up your phone first step is to use the sim ejector tool and then eject the sim tray the hybrid from the hybrid sim slot sorry sim tray drop uh, then here's the sim tray you have to just eject the sim tray out of your redmi 4a here it is after ejecting uh, the sim tray what you to do is just pick up the screwdriver or uh, whatever you have with you okay it should have a very very uh, thin uh, thickness the thickness should be very thin and then you have to come on the edge the phone would be like packed up so you have to come on the edge and just like do just push a bit don't be very hard because that could destroy the cover in my case I actually destroyed the cover of my phone over here it is I have already opened the whole phone as you can see the casings are already opened up I'm gonna tell you how to do that how to open the casings okay so we're not gonna go very fast because this is a uh, some this is some important process and we cannot go fast in this process particularly okay so after opening up the casing you have to just while opening up the casing you have to just focus that you are not very hard be moderately hard and just like push 
inside your Redmi 4 is casing this gap in between there is a gap like this 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 and just keep pushing up and uh, like doing this sort of movement with your hand which will gonna pull up or uh, yes that will gonna pull up the cover outside or in a poor direction now there are four edges over here that the four vertices I would say uh, in the phone which you have to focus especially on you have to just apply a little bit more force as compared to these edges uh, on these vertices and just lift them a bit it will take a little more harder force and as you, as soon as you lift up them you have to just lift the two of them these two or these two or these two whichever you would like to and then just lift up the cover the cover will automatically come out now one thing which you should keep in mind is that you must remove the sim tray first because if you will not remove the sim tray you will have a hard time removing the back case of your redmi 4a after removing the back case of your redmi 4a uh, you will see or you will have something like this in your redmi 4a okay the, there will be a black casing over the motherboard section and there will be a black casing on the section at the bottom okay so this is the battery basically over here now let me just okay now the battery is fixed now you will have around one two three four okay five six seven over here let me just zoom it a bit now let me just focus it hope that this time yes it worked okay so one two okay then comes three four five six seven okay eight and there goes ninth over here and that's it so overall there are nine screws over the motherboard sections covering uh, or the case over there on the motherboard you have to just remove all the screws one by one and then what you do is this will gonna be actually uh, sticked with the motherboard or I would say that the casing of the phone now what you do is just pick up the page or whatever you have the tool with you and just apply a little bit of force inside this gap you can see this gapping I will move a bit I will switch on the flash of the phone itself that will make easier for you to look at okay so here is a gap now you have to actually apply a little bit force inside this gap and after applying the force inside this gap you have to just lift up this casing this is gonna lift up the casing for over from here till here the casing will be unlocked okay now after this you have to what you have to do is just come over here in this section I'm gonna just keep it aside this one that's the bottom speaker so you have to come here after coming over here what you have to do is you, you can see this I'm just gonna pick up my screwdriver now you can see the screwdriver more uh, perfectly I'm gonna focus okay so you have to mainly focus on this section now apply a little bit force over here on this section you can see here here there will be a gap a very small gap that's why I was saying that the uh, thickness of the tool which you are using should be very thin then apply a little bit of force inside and then just lift up the casing this is gonna lift up the case from here till here now this side is gonna be a little bit difficult task for you to open the casing what you have to do is you have to apply the force over here okay so here you have to what you do is you have to just apply the pressure over here in this section and you will apply the pressure over here in the section and just lift it up a bit now here you will have a little bit problem when you were lifting up so don't be very hard or don't try to lift it up from here only try from all the directions you can try it from here you can try it from here you can try it from here also now if you're not able to finally uh, remove this casing from here from this section then just use the fingers and just lift up the cover like this and it will gonna automatically come out of uh, the motherboard or the phone's casing and we're gonna automatically come out after removing this we will come on to the bottom section you have to do this very fast at a very fast pace because your phone has already dropped into the water you know that okay so here we have around one two three and four screws over there and one screw inside you can see over here one screw is inside 
just... Okay, so these four screws needed to be opened up first. Now after opening the screws, I was gonna place the casing which was present over here. This is the casing. This one is the speaker, the bottom speaker. So in this casing, the bottom casing, you will have problem opening up the casing from this section. You have to just lift up the casing. Okay, so you have to open it from this corner. First of all, just apply the force over here. I'm showing you a very high close up. Now you can see the screwdriver which I will using I was using for opening the casings. Okay, now just apply a force, little bit of force inside over here like this and just lift it up. The case will not gonna lift up totally. It will just gonna open this corner. The casing from this corner. The all the casing from this side and this side will not be open. Now to open that or to open that side's casing, what you to do is you will have uh, when the casing is open from this side you will have this section lifted up like this now you have to apply or just insert your screwdriver or paint screws whatever you are ha having at that time the tool and then just lift up the casing from here and the casing just like uh, the above sections casing we're gonna come out automatically and we're gonna just pop out of the casing of the phone of your phone okay so now we will have the bottom motherboard or I would say bottom circuit panel so in this circuit panel we don't have any screws left now we have only these uh, chips or I would say these insertions the cables which are connected to the motherboard so we have to first of all just disconnect these connections as soon as possible so just take your paint case and just remove this or just lift up I will not say remove this just, just lift up this black colored slot or I would say the holder what I would like to name it as just lift it up very gently because it is made of rubber and then what you to do with just yes just remove this cable then using your like this Okay, now that's removed. You have to do all these things fast. I'm showing you these things slowly so that you can do these things at the time of emergency fastly. Okay, watch everything carefully. Now, just remove this back casing. Okay, now it's removed. Oops, I didn't disturb the surface. Okay, now it's removed. The black casing. This black casing is also removed. I would say lift it up now after lifting up this black casing this is the cable which is actually connecting the display to the motherboard so just disconnect this cable like this and disconnect the cable now after disconnecting that cable yet you will see these two cables connected to the motherboard so just disconnect these two cables also just lift them up like this Get this one also up okay so now these two are disconnected now motherboard is free to lift up the motherboard you have to what you have to do is just uh, get this paint case or whatever you have over here and just lift it up a bit okay i forgot one cable one cable is also located over here you have to remove this cable also so just lift it up like this i'm gonna show you just gonna focus it up a bit yes now it's focused up gonna put and like this you can see it's disconnected from the slot okay now just after just like uh, putting the screwdriver again and lifting up this will gonna be a, an easy process to remove the motherboard but one thing which is very important while opening or just getting the motherboard off the casing of the phone is that you will have another chip connected below over here you can see I'm gonna focus it up so because of which you will not be able to get the motherboard finally out so you have to remove this cable also or this connector also so just disconnect this connector I'm gonna hold with one hand the motherboard and then disconnect this connector very carefully you have to do everything 
Any damage to the motherboard will gonna lead to a major cause for a problem. Now the motherboard is totally disconnected. Okay. Now the motherboard is totally disconnected. Uh, and uh, we have the motherboard off the phone's casing so we're gonna keep the phone's casing aside now since this is an emergency case and depending on the deepness of the water in which your phone has fallen down you have to use uh, an heater uh, for very high emergency cases or very very high risk of getting your phone damaged at that time when the risks are risk factors are very high you must use an heater so i have an heater that's the heater okay so now I'm using the flash of my phone to light up all of that okay so just get the heater in one in your one hand pick up the motherboard very carefully just switch on the heater there will be noise make sure that the distance is this much at least this much it's around 15 centimeter away you can use it in the scale to measure the distance and after getting your heater around 50 centimeter away from uh, the motherboard just switch the on the heater now i have two modes in my heater one is for cold air and one is for hot air so i'm gonna apply uh, those two modes one by one periodically and we're gonna just blow up the motherboard that's the best way to get all the water out of the uh, motherboard okay and i have used this method two times with two different phones and uh, two times with this single phone okay so just switching on the heater switch on the heater see the distance i have kept a very high distance between the motherboard and the heater so just keep blowing up the motherboard like this Please make sure that you don't blow up the motherboard from very close distances. For only for short spans, you must stay, bring the motherboard very close and uh, just let that air blow in the SIM slot, in the hybrid SIM slot. Just blow up like this into it. Okay, then just blow up closely in the camera. Both the camera should be blown up. Here is the infrared sensor, so just blow up on that area. Yeah, now here is the proximity sensor, so blow up the proximity sensor also. Okay, now after blowing up everything a little bit closely, just switch off the heater. Keep this thing aside. Uh, a 10 minutes blowing of uh, the hot air will be enough for drying up the motherboard. Now your motherboard is safe, that means that 90% of your phone is safe now. Now let's come on to the circuit given below which is actually responsible for the charging and other stuff like the sound system okay and it actually also connects the two motherboards with each other for sending the signals okay electronic signals so let's remove this motherboard also now this motherboard is also sticked from these two sides so you have to be a little bit little bit very little hard than moderate harder than moderate to remove this motherboard now you can see a screw is present over here also so you have to remove this screw too just unscrew this screw so i'm gonna unscrew this one now you're gonna be able to see which screwdriver i'm using so this one is the screwdriver which i'm using to open all the screws of uh, redmi 4a and uh, all the screws are of same size and uh, that's a plus factor for us okay so i'm just unscrewing the screw the screws unscrewed okay now we have the motherboard itself now i'm gonna switch to this and i'm gonna just open up get out get this circuit board out so as you can see over here I'm just doing uh, or just lifting up it from the this side so you have also to lift up the circuit board from this side from the left hand side just lift up the circuit board a bit like this and then you can hear a sound uh, which means that it has come out of that sticking panel okay now just applying the force on this side before applying this force like just I forget don't forget to disconnect these two connectors let me just focus a bit 
don't forget to disconnect these two connectors okay so connect disconnecting these two connectors I'm going slow with the video the length of the video is increasing because I want you guys to do everything very carefully and uh, I want you guys to not to damage your Redmi 4A because it costs some price for us or oh, and for you too so now that two the disconnect the two connectors are disconnected from the circuit board so we're gonna just remove the circuit board you have to come here in this section this is the main section or the main uh, side the middle section from where your circuit board will gonna be opened up okay so just applying the force to get the braces inside just lift it up like this you can see from inside just get the pastries over here just do keep doing like this keep doing like this and like this as you can see the circuit board is out of the casing that's a circuit board that's a bottom circuit board now take this circuit board also and just blow it up in the similar way in which I blow up the motherboard main motherboard okay blow up the both the sides so that uh, we are sure that there is no water left and be careful because these circuit boards are very thin so be gentle with them done with after we are done with uh, these circuit boards we can remove the battery now if the water is entered and you can see the water over the battery or beside these sections in, of the battery then you must first of all after disconnecting the connector of the battery this is the connector of the battery this small one you must first of all at the first side you should remove the battery itself okay so removing the battery like this now your battery will be sticked to this uh, casing of the phone or the phone case so what you to do is you will have two uh, stickers which are sticked over here so you have to just peel them off like the tape and just after this peeling them off just hold them in your hand very hardly and just keep pulling them outside like this uh, in the motion in which I am moving my hands keep pulling them outside until so that's it guys for today in today's video I told you how to rescue your Redmi 4A uh, if it gets dropped into uh, water doesn't matter the deepness doesn't matter whole of this operation if done in 15 or not 15 in 10 minutes then your phone can be uh, escaped approximately that's an approximate time don't take it granted that in 10 minutes if you are doing it it's done because the deepness also matters I told you in the beginning so depending on the deepness of the water in which your phone has fallen uh, you have to be faster with the rescue operation if you have done it in five minutes then that's a hundred percent surety that your redmi photo will gonna survive and I so depending on the deepness you must be fast as I told you right now okay so that's it for today guys see you in the next video till then goodbye but please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button below if you want more of these videos or more of the videos of these types uh, which contain solutions to different problems which we tackle in our daily life I will make another video for the assembly uh, or for the assembling process of Redmi 4A in which I'm gonna tell you how to assemble your Redmi 4A back to its original condition without any Mm, problem or without any damage causing any damage to your redmi 4a one thing which i want to tell you is that keep very uh, keep the force very gentle while opening this casing up because you can see i had damaged my casing from these sides from these edges i'm gonna show you by focus focusing up a bit so you can see the edges are damaged i have damaged the edges because i didn't knew i was panicked because this was a new phone and I have to make an unboxing video and uh, that's why I was really very much panicked and uh, I've destroyed or I would say I disturbed the beauty of this phone so don't disturb the beauty of your Redmi 4A and be gentle while opening the casing okay use proper tools if you have proper tools to open up the 
or to uh, perform operations with the phones then you will have no problem uh, while opening up your redmi 4a and uh, you will also have no sort of uh, damage caused to your redmi 4a so thank you for watching my video again please hit the like and the subscribe button i'm telling you this again because new videos are coming for redmi 4a there will be a new video soon in which i will tell you how to get no gut in your redmi 4a and uh, there will not gonna be a roam there will gonna be a theme but that theme is super awesome and i'm gonna make another video in which i'm gonna tell you some of the awesome features of redmi 4a how to use ia blaster of your redmi 4a and more of these sort of awesome videos are coming in future so stay tuned with the channel and to stay tuned you have to subscribe my channel subscribe the channel and in the beginning of the video i have told you